Israeli Defense Minister Ove Gallant has disclosed the strategic plans for the next phase of Israel's offensive against the Gaza Strip, along with the envisioned post-war scenario. Gallant said the northern region of Gaza will witness a shift to a new combat approach involving ground military achievements, including raids, tunnel demolitions, air and ground strikes, and special forces operations. He said that in the south, where the majority of Gaza's 2.3 million population currently resides in temporary shelters, the operation aims to eliminate Hamas leaders and rescue Israeli hostages, continuing as deemed necessary. Gallant outlined Israel's post-war plans, emphasizing that Hamas would no longer control Gaza, and Israel would maintain operational freedom, though with no Israeli civilian presence. Conditions for this arrangement include non-hostility towards Israel by Palestinian bodies in charge of the enclave, despite the Israeli army declaring certain areas as safe, displaced Palestinians, facing dire conditions in southern Gaza's Rafah governorate, are grappling with the spread of disease due to shortages of supplies, medicine, clean water, and fuel. The United Nations reports that over 80% of the pre-war population in Gaza, or nearly 1.9 million people, have been displaced.